Hey guys, what's up? Kermando here. Welcome to my NXT review. Let's just get straight to it. It was a pretty damn good show. First off, Sami Zayn finally returned like seven months after the NXT rival match and said his plan is to pretty much kick Kevin Owens' ass like the fans was chanting to kick his ass. The fans were a little bit... They've kind of been a little bit... I don't know, they haven't been the same the last few weeks. Um, same with the NXT shows, they haven't really been the same. They haven't really been as good as some of them, but eh, it's it's still it's still okay. Um, but they were trying to kick his ass. Sammy said that's what he plans to do, and um, and he blah, 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 he said something else, and then <clears throat> the announce team was doing their shiz. Then the man beast Rhino was back in action, bitches. Quick little match against some random dude. Didn't even get his name. All happened was a GORE! 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 And then he had a promo and said pretty much the same thing. And he said he's coming after the NXT Championship as well, so that'll be pretty interesting to see what goes down there. Um, then there was a uh, recap of the Finn Balor match last week. Recap of Owen saying his stiffs. Next we got Balor versus uh, Bailey. Sorry. <laughs> Bailey versus Emma. Um, you know, not like a fantastic match or anything, but it, it progressed their story with sort of like Emma turning heel. She's not quite there yet, but she's she is she's gonna be a full on heel eventually. Um, <clears throat> there's word that they want to do that on the main roster as well, but is there a point really? You know, I don't think so. Not on the main roster. Uh, I mean, all the time in the world, Raw, SmackDown, main event, superstars, but they can't have a good storyline or a good feud, you know, that's something I just don't get, you know, I really don't get that. All that time, but you can't have feuds, you know, I don't get it. But, uh, Bailey eventually beat Emma with, just with a quick roll-up, decent-ish match. Awkwardness follows the bell as the ladies kinda sorta make nice, but not really. <laughs> yeah, I guess that sort of sums it up. Um, <clears throat> then there was a promo from Becky Lynch uh, saying she wants a shot at the NXT Women's Championship pretty much, saying that everybody else has a chance. She wants a chance now. <laughs> There's some more commercials for the WWE Network by the WWE Network. By coincidence, WWE Network. WWE NXT also airs on the WWE Network. <laughs> yeah, it was just, I think it was that commercial for all that new bloody shows that they're doing with Jerry Springer and all that other pish. Uh, next we had the Lucha Dragons versus Blake and Murphy. Um, nothing special, there was a couple of dives at the ring at the start. Um, but nothing, nothing like the debut on Raw or the Lucha Dragons. Oh my god. When Kalisto uh, jumped up and landed on Cesaro's shoulders then did the flip. I was going fucking insane. That was just amazing. So amazing. The crowd fucking loved it as well. It was That was just amazing. Truly amazing. Like a great debut. Um, f for more so Kalisto by the, the Lucha Dragons on Raw. Um, <coughs> yeah, that was really good. Um, but eventually here, uh, Blake and Murphy won with their uh, running play frog splash combo meal. Next, Sami Zayn was speaking to that chick, and then he's interrupted by the man beast Rhino. Say, like Sami Zayn was saying something about the NXT title, and then, and then um, Rhino said that uh, the. The line for the NXT Championship starts behind him, um, and that included Sami Zayn or something. And so yeah, maybe there's going to be a match between Rhino and Sami Zayn, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, next, oh my days, we had Jason Jordan versus Ty Dillinger. Uh, I just hated them as a team, and they're just, because they're just so generic, they're just so... There's no better word than generic, you know, just... The cookie cutter model of what WWE looks for, like, t well, more so Jason Jordan with the, on the muscular side, but they're just generic, don't have a character or anything. I think Jason Jordan's part of that Shoot Nation thing or something, I don't know. But 
I just uh, I've never been a fan in the in the music is just so lame. And Jason Jordan even had a, a new song, which wasn't much better. It sounded almost like country sort of music. It was weird, um, but nothing really to this. Um, Jordan was sort of like amateur wrestling, where basically just doing the shitty German suplex things. Not even a German suplex. You know where they just sort of trip them to the side. That, and then he, I think he just hit a splash on him and and won. It was it was just boring crap um, then on to the main event which was pretty good they didn't get a lot of time though you know I felt it could have been really awesome but it only had like 30 minutes or something if that in total because um, when it started it was, it was at like 40 minutes or something and I was like oh, this is going to be a really quick match um, but it went up to like maybe a minute before the actual end of the you know, there's a lot of time or whatever, um, but it was decent. You know, it was decent for the time that they had. Um, there was a br- a little breezes ratchet chant. Come on, people, breeze is gorgeous, not ratchet. Good grief. Um, but fall number one went to Hideo Itami. Uh, he won with his drop kick thing. I think he called it a shotgun kick or something. The announcers, random. If he if he did it and he r- run along and then just he's like his leg jumped out like like that or something it'd be kind of cool like if he j- if he jumps up and then just goes bam or something like that and then I could understand but he doesn't really do that so but anyways he was uh, he he won there he won there then Breeze is sort of playing possum and you know sort of trying to get back up and then what bam beauty shot fall number two goes to Tyler Breeze. And then, the big surprise of the night, I really didn't expect this, but Breeze won the third fall. I couldn't believe it. When he when he pinned him and won, I was like, yes, no way. I really didn't expect that. I really thought Hideo was going to win. Um, <clears throat> but there was a really cool spot uh, where... Uh, oh, yeah, Breeze did a big boot. And so I tell me, so I no sold it, and and then he had the supermodel kick. It was awesome. That was a really cool spot. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else happened? What else happened? Sam Breeze misses with the beauty shot, and Tommy connects with a corner drop kick. Oh yeah, then he was gonna wait to do something. I think he was gonna wait to do the uh, the shotgun thing again. He missed it. Um. I th- yeah, I think he was. G- he missed it, and then he was off the ropes, and then the beauty shot out of nowhere. One, two, three. It was really good, you know, a short match, but a good match. You know, it 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 could have it could have went longer, and it, and it might have been better. Um, but you know, for what it was it was really good, and I really loved the end, and I really, really surprised that Tyler Breeze won. I couldn't believe it. I I thought it it would have been Hideo, you know, since he's new, and he I thought they'd be building him up, but good to see Tyler Breeze win. Um and did they announce something for next week? I don't know. I don't think they did. It wasn't. Oh yeah, it's that Donna or Dana Brooke. She's debuting in two weeks, and I heard it was bad. And she got she can't ra- or you can't wrestle chance. And she, I don't know. She looks kind of weird. No offense. Um, you know that whole sort of supermodel bodybuilder thing. You know, fake breasticles. Looks like maybe fake lips and that as well. I don't know. On her face, of course, people. You sickos. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens there. There was nothing announced for next week, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, there wasn't a thing either. There wasn't a... Oh, I know. It was the WrestleMania Access thing that was announced for next week, so... I don't know if they're going to show all the matches in that, or some of the matches that happened at, at the... NXT experience thing, um, but there was there wasn't a thingy um, like a backstage interview type of thing. There wasn't any of that. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, there's something else I was wanting to mention. Oh yeah, Raw. Raw. Raw was good. You know, Raw was really good. Most of Raw was pretty good. Like the Lesnar stuff was just incredible. You know, just. Um, I even knew what happened. Like I watched it the day after, and I'd heard of what happened, 
and I was still absolutely loving it. It was just amazing. From the opening promo from Paul Heyman, I mean, it's, it's Paul Heyman, you know, would you expect anything else? Um, to the the Lesnar wrecking Cole and the announcers and <coughs> that, <coughs> that camera guy. Um, it was really, really good. Really, really good. I got kind of bored come... It was like after the Divas match, like Rusev vs. Goldust, and the main event was kind of meh. It wasn't special. Like, I watched the... When it actually aired, like, I'd fell asleep on that Monday from, like, 5... 5, half 5 in the afternoon. Woke up sort of, like, 2, half 2 in the morning. And then I went back to sleep again about half past 4. And I couldn't get to sleep around 4, and that's when... My stupid screen bees are retard. That's when Raw actually ends. That's the time it ends here, like, 4. Then the, the overtime, quarter past 4. Um, and I just decided to watch like the end of it, and I, cause when they were, when the when they did this six man thing, and they were speculating like who would be the thingy, I was like, who the hell's it gonna be? And then Roman Reigns music hit, and I was like, oh, Roman Reigns! I totally forgot about him. I like, completely forgot about him. Um, but the Lesnar stuff was really, really good. Like, just, just, just loved it. Um, I don't know when we'll see him again, um, but I think it's proven like I, I to begin with I thought like you sh like you should have been there a lot more and like same when he was champ and stuff but the way he's been used in that is just better that you don't see him a lot you know if you were seeing him more often I think you would just get bored of him and he'd be overused and wouldn't have the same sort of I don't know same aura is that the word I'm thinking about of, of aura about him I think that's a word I don't know but yeah, we'll see whenever he's going to show up. I heard that, um, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know what happens on SmackDown, then you might want to not listen. But uh, it's going to be Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton, the Extreme Rules, and John Cena versus Rusev, Extreme Rules. Um, so, yeah, some people were sort of complaining about that, but it does sort of make sense because Randy Orton beat Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Um... <coughs> But what I'm thinking is when for Lesnar when he returns is that he'll cost Seth the title or something. Like at a match. That's, um, that's when I think he'll return. He'll return unexpected. You, you won't know when it's coming, I think. Um, apart from maybe, you know, the dirt cheats and the wrestling news sites. Um, but it'll be unannounced and I think he'll come in and cost him the title or something. Um, and maybe we'll see a Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar match at some point. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'd also like to see like like a a Ryback versus Brock Lesnar or a Sheamus versus Brock Lesnar. I think that could be really really good. Um, and Sheamus returned as well. He's a new Luke. That so a lot of people say, oh, there was new Luke stupid chance, but I quite like it. I quite like the Mohawk and the and the beard. If the, if the beard's longer, um, it'll it'll just look better and better. I think he's got that beard braid thing. He's um, it looks like they're trying to go for like his WWE Immortals character. I can't remember what the hair looks like, but I know his beard's long and got loads of braids and stuff. Um, but the mohawk, I think, was pretty cool, in my opinion, anyway. But apparently there was, um, th like, people were saying that Seamus was, like, really, like, rough and, um, like, not safe with Daniel Bryan when on in their SmackDown match. Um, and Bryan needed stitches and stuff. Um, apparently it wasn't being very safe or something, so see what happens there. Should be kind of interesting. See what goes down. But yeah, that's about it. I just want to talk a little about Raw. Uh, some people are saying like it was the best one ever. Uh, no, no, the the Lesnar stuff. Don't get me wrong, the Lesnar stuff was f amazing. Like I was just going nuts and uh, bloody net. Neville, they're just going to call him Neville now. Adrian Neville debuted, um, thankfully without the Mickey Mouse or Mighty Mouse thing. Um, but maybe I was looking it up, and maybe they just think that he looks like this Mighty Mouse guy because because he's his ears or whatever. I don't know. Um, and like I, I spoke about the Kalito thing already, which was really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. Um, yeah. I work out. <laughs> I 
that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.